So one of my favorite questions to ask people in the carbon removal world is, what have you changed your mind about in the last year? I got to ask this to Liz, Julio, and Suchi at the Verge Net Zero conference. Uh, and it's just a, a good question to, to kind of keep track of things as this industry changes so, so quickly. You can reduce it to what you changed your mind about in the last six months or the last month. Uh, the thing for me that's changed is my view on the role of carbon marketplaces and the role of carbon removal credits in the need to remove carbon from the atmosphere. I want to talk about what I used to think, what changed, and what I'm thinking about now. So what I used to think was that we needed to get to large-scale carbon removal and that getting a, getting a tax on carbon or getting kind of the political will to make some of those changes was just a, it just seemed like a non-starter. And so because of that, I really dug into carbon utilization. I really dug into, okay, how do we make things that are better, faster, and stronger out of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere because all this other stuff that, that could happen just really won't. So anything to do with carbon marketplaces, anything to do with carbon tax, it didn't seem like it was going to happen. Governments wouldn't fund it. Corporations wouldn't fund it. So here's what's changed. Governments started funding carbon removal. Corporations started funding carbon removal. Microsoft, Shopify, and Stripe signed up to purchase millions of dollars of carbon credits, carbon removal credits, from up-and-coming startups. Governments, for example, the uh, upcoming U.S. infrastructure bill has $3.2 billion slated for direct air capture. Uh, and the Department of Energy has been pumping millions of dollars of grants into uh, various carbon removal technologies. So that's what's changed. Carbon removal credits are proving to be a great source of funding for early up and coming startup companies. Now, of course, are the millions of dollars that are being put into carbon removal credits going to themselves prop up an entire marketplace for carbon removal credits? Who knows? But it's a good start. It seems like if it keeps up, then carbon removal marketplaces are going to be a really good opportunity for removing gigatons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. That's what I've changed my mind about in the last year. It comes from thinking holistically about how do we take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and keep it out of the atmosphere and just kind of looking at this whole picture. There's, there's utilization, there's, there's carbon removal credits, and as the market starts to change, rebalancing that. So I'm going from just purely all in on carbon utilization to taking more of an interest in carbon removal credits. So I'd love to hear from you what you're tuned in to, whether it's whether you follow carbon removal uh, every day or every week, kind of what's, what's a big thing for you, for your own thinking about carbon removal, for your own work on carbon removal uh, that's changed in these last 12 months.